Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the most amazing, delicious, and purest tasting water from a tankless reverse osmosis system that fits under the sink. This system is made by Express Water. It's the Model 6 with pH, and it also adds remineralization to your water. So not only is it filtering out all the bad stuff from your water, it's also adding minerals back into it to make it taste better and make it as healthy as possible for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So right here in this box is the under the sink tankless reverse osmosis system from Express Water. This is their newest system. It's the Model 6 with pH. So that means you get a tankless RO system plus you get remineralization of your water. So basically the way it works is your reverse osmosis is gonna remove all the bad stuff from your water, including dissolved chemicals, sediment, uh, bacteria, viruses, all that kind of nasty stuff that you don't wanna be drinking. And then at the end, it remineralizes it with things like calcium, potassium, magnesium, and some other micro minerals. So that way your water tastes great and it makes it even healthier. I moved into a new house and this house already had an RO system under the sink. But it was the kind with the tank and with a family of five, if everybody tries to fill up their uh, glasses of water during dinner or fill up their water bottles and things like that, like one after the other, the tank would run out of water like really quick. So you'd start out with about like a half a gallon per minute, like when it first started. And then after like the second or third cup, it'd be like dribbling. <laughs> Essentially like the fourth, the fifth person, it would take so long to try to fill up a cup of water, you would just say forget it and you just fill up your water from like the regular sink or drink something else. With a tankless RO, you don't have to worry about having a tank pre-filled with the treated water. It's going to treat the water on demand as soon as you need it. It's gonna go ahead and flow through the filtration system out of the faucet and straight into your glass. And I'm gonna take you through this installation step by step and you're gonna see it's really easy. All right, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed and get started. First thing you're going to need is the feed adapter. Now this came in the kit and they give you one where it's going to work with both half inch and three eighths connections. So that should pretty much cover uh, most cold water connections out there. Uh, basically, if you do need to use the three eighths, which I do, then you are going to screw this, this fitting right here into the, the half inch side. It's a half inch pipe threading. So you go ahead and screw that on, and that gives you a 3 8 pipe fitting on the female side and a 3 8 on the male side. So that way you can screw this into your, your plumbing line right here. So it's going to be um, a copper pipe in my case with a threaded fitting on the end. And then you have your other side that the braided line is going to screw onto. And then this side, which has a a valve to open and close the flow. This is a push to connect fitting and this is where your feed line is going to go into the express water RO system. First you want to make sure that your incoming water is off. The shutoff valve right here should be perpendicular to the pipe like this. If it's parallel with it then that means the water is flowing and you will get wet. Check the leaks. Make sure this is this valve is 
closed, so perpendicular, and then you can open up your incoming water valve and just check around the threads and make sure you don't see any water dripping out. So now it's time to install the drain saddle. And the way the drain saddle works is basically it lets you tap into your, your drain pipe and um, then the waste tube from the RO system connects to this and it'll go straight into your drain pipe. I already had a system that was installed here previously so I already have the hole in place. Now, if you need to drill your hole, then you need to use a quarter inch drill bit and drill that hole into a section of drain pipe that is above the trap and in a section that basically is not gonna hold uh, water long term. And inside the instructions in the manual, they go over some different scenarios. So basically, let's take one half of the drain saddle and that is going to fit right over the hole in your drain pipe. Now in order to make sure that the hole is going to line up with the fitting, we can take a piece of the red tubing, which is going to be for the wastewater. You can stick it right into that push to connect until it sticks through a little bit. And now, Go ahead and stick the tubing right into sure that the hole aligns. The next step is to unwrap the filter housing and install it into the Model 6. As you can see here, you just slide it in and then you turn it to the right to lock it in. All right, so now it's locked in. Oh, and this arrow will align with the lock symbol. Do the same thing to the sediment and carbon filter. Okay, so now we have the sediment and carbon filter on top, and we have the alkaline mineralization and reverse osmosis membrane. So it's kind of cool how they combined. Um, the RO membrane with the alkaline uh, remineralization filter. Typically, that would be two separate filters, um, but this kind of design here uh, really saves space to just combine the different stages of filtration into one cartridge. Here are our tube connections. So there are only three tubing connections that you have to do on this system, really easy. So what you have right in here are, these are just plugs that were put in here for uh, shipping. So basically you wanna pull these out and stick the tubing in. So these are what we call push to connect fittings. And with the push to connect fitting, there's something called a collet, which is basically this little ring that you see here. You push down on that and then you can pull out on these plugs. And then when you stick a tube in there, you push it in Pull it back out and you'll feel that it locks in. So I'm gonna go ahead and push down the collet, take out these plugs. Next, I will take my tubing that came with the RO system. And they put a line on the tubing here just to show that you want it to be seated into the push to connect that deep. You don't want to just push it in there that deep because it's not fully seated yet. So you want to make sure it's fully in there. You know, once you push that in, it's connected and it's nice and secure. This is the outlet, which is where the purified water will 
go out of and into the faucet. And then that's our waste connection. So I already have that tube, um, I already have the other side of that tube connected to the drain pipe. So I'm going to connect that once I put this inside of the uh, cabinet. Okay, the faucet comes just like this. This is the faucet itself. Then you get a Ziploc bag. This right here is called a union connector. It's basically a coupling that goes between the faucet and the tubing. So the water from the tubing can flow into the faucet. Here we have the base with a rubber gasket. So this is the part that's gonna sit right on the countertop. Like that. And you have the other end, you have another rubber gasket that's going to go, so your countertop will go in between here and we'll have a rubber gasket. And then we have this nut right here or the tension hand screw as they call it, which will secure the faucet onto the countertop or onto your sink. So basically your sink or countertop is going to go in between here and this will keep it secure. This part of the installation has to get done laying under the sink, essentially. So it's probably the most fun slash uncomfortable part of the whole installation. Okay, so you'll notice I already have a hole here in my countertop. This is an inch and three eighths diameter hole right now. That's because it had a different type of RO faucet in it previously. Now, if you need to drill a hole from scratch, the good news is that with this type of faucet, this section right here is the only thing that needs to pass through. So a half inch drill bit is gonna take care of that. So all you need to do is drill a half inch diameter hole into your countertop if you don't have a hole already pre-existing. In my case, I already have a hole. It's inch and three eighths. Luckily, this base fits over it, so I'm not gonna have any issues. Um, if this base was too small to fit over the hole that was there, then I would need to do something about getting a bigger base. But in this case, I'm good to go. If you want to see a video of me drilling uh, an inch and three eighths diameter hole into a countertop, I do have a previous video that I've done that in, and I will link that uh, in the description below, and uh, you can watch how to do that. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and sit this faucet in here and get ready to connect it. So now remember this waste drain, this can go into the waste port up top on the unit. Now this inlet line is going to feed into the feed adapter that we installed on the first step. So next we are going to turn on the water flow. Okay, so that lets water flow into the unit. And now we plug in power. Okay, when you plug power in for the first time, the unit automatically turn on and then it goes into a flush mode for five minutes. So it's automatically gonna start flushing the filters for five minutes straight. And after five minutes, it's going to stop. And then at that point, we're gonna open up the faucet and we're gonna allow the water to flush through the entire system for 30 minutes. Okay, now it's time to do the second half of the flush, which is opening up the faucet and letting it flush for 30 minutes. So you, you'll see some air that's gonna flow through the system. And there's a lot of air bubbles right now inside the water stream. Uh, but after about that half hour, 
all this air should disappear or the vast majority of it. Now that it's been a half hour, the RO system has been flushed out completely. The only thing that's left to do is enjoy a beautiful, pure glass of water. Oh. I'll tell you what, this is some of the best water that you will ever taste. It's pure, filtered, and it's had minerals added back into it. You really cannot get water any better than this. And the best part is, it's straight from your home. You don't have to go out and buy mineral water from bottles or from the store or anything like that. You have it all right in the comfort of your own home. So a brand new set of filters is capable of filtering up to 1,056 gallons of water. Now that does vary depending on the quality of the water that's going into it. So if you have really crappy tap water, then that number might uh, be a little lower. But let's just say you should be able to get about a thousand gallons of water out of these filters. And at that point, you just change out the filters and then you're good to go for another up to 1,056 gallons. Overall, the installation is really easy. It's just a few steps. The only technical things you really have to do is install that, the feed adapter and drill the quarter inch hole into your drain pipe and install the drain saddle. The rest of it is just connecting some tubing and um, well, I'll also if you have to drill a hole in your countertop, that's a little bit more extra work. But other than that, it's really easy install for a beginner to do and um, it shouldn't, shouldn't take you long to do it. You could probably do this whole thing in about an hour. So I hope you learned something from this. If you are interested in buying this system, you can go to expresswater.com. I'm also gonna have a link to this exact system in the description. So I hope you check it out. I'm really happy with it. I'm sure you'll be happy with it. I appreciate you and thanks for watching.